Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a clean with me slash tidying up the house because I got the flu this past weekend. No, it's not the coronavirus, but thank goodness I'm okay. I'm doing much better now. I was literally like bedridden for the last two, three days. So my home is kind of a mess right now. So today we're just going to do a little clean with me and tidying up and just get things organized because everything's cluttered and giving me anxiety. So I just got home from work and the first thing I'm going to do is start laundry because laundry is the one thing that I hate doing the most. So we're just going to start off with that. <laughs> One thing that I like to do as I'm doing laundry sometimes is that as I'm going through my clothes, I like to check them out and see if there's anything that I don't like anymore or that I'm considering decluttering. For example, in a second here, you'll see this t-shirt, this green t-shirt that I just don't like wearing anymore. It's not very comfortable and I just decided that I'm going to declutter this and not wear it anymore. So I guess that's a little tip for you guys in case you need some help jump-starting your decluttering process. Okay, now that the load of laundry is in the washer machine, I'm going to start cleaning the bathroom. I changed into a t-shirt because the top that I was wearing is a work blouse, so we don't want to ruin that, so we're gonna wear a tank top and get to cleaning. So this is the current state of the bathroom right now. It probably doesn't look so bad to you guys, but trust me, it's dirty and needs to be clean, especially since I've been sick. I need to disinfect everything and get rid of all those germs. <laughs> So the first thing I start doing is I put things back to where they belong and then I start clearing off the counter so I can wipe it down. To clean the mirror, I use this glass cleaner that I got from Walmart. Right now what I'm trying to do is to use up all my cleaning products so I can make my DIY cleaner. So as you can see, some of these products that I have, I'm almost done using them up. So as soon as I'm done with them, I will start making my own. To wipe the counters down, I like to use this microfiber cloth that I got from Amazon and I will leave a link down below for you guys if you want to check it out. To clean the actual toilet seat, I ended up switching over to using toilet paper because the cloth was getting a little too wet and dirty, so I switched over to this and I just wiped it down with the method cleaner that I showed earlier. To clean the actual toilet inside, I used this It Works brand and it works very well and it was only 98 cents from Walmart so it's very cheap and it does a great job to clean the toilet. To clean the bathtub, I use this reusable sponge and then I use some baking soda and some regular Dawn soap and just wipe the bathtub with it. Okay. 
Last year, I needed a vacuum very badly and I invested in this Dyson Animal B7 vacuum, which is not the newest one, but it still does an amazing job. I love this vacuum and I use it to clean my whole house and everything with it and I highly recommend. So if you're in the market for a new vacuum, definitely check this one out. So here is my mountain of clothes that I need to fold now. And just so you guys know, I don't put everything in the dryer. I actually have a drying rack, which is right over here. This is the stuff that I'm drying for this load. And yeah, I've been using this for a few months now and I love it. If you're interested in purchasing this, I will link it down below. it's time for my least favorite chore and that is folding all the clothes that I just washed that little blue ball is a dryer ball that I have in my dryer I have four of them that I bought off of Amazon and I've been using them ever since and it seems like they work to help dry my clothes faster Next up, we are in the living room and just once again, taking everything off and just wiping it down with my DIY all-purpose cleaner that I've made and we're just wiping down the coffee table. So here I was all done but then I looked at my roses and I decided to not keep them around anymore so I grabbed them and got rid of them because they're looking a little too sad. Even though I do like the dead roses look, I just thought it was time for them to be discarded. This is my pet, Squirtle. Yes, I named him Squirtle the turtle. And yeah, he just hangs out in his little tank and wants to say hi. <laughs> now that I open the blinds, I can see a lot better. And this is what we're currently working with in the kitchen. So there's stuff everywhere. Everything needs to be put away. So let's tackle this. As I'm doing my chores, I like to listen to music and here I am just having a good time making cleaning go by faster. <laughs> To wash the dishes, I use this microfiber sponge. Also got this from Walmart and I did a video the other day about my minimalist kitchen items and I actually mentioned it over there as well. So if you're interested in seeing that video, I'll link it up in the cards and down below if you want to check it out. What? 
I guess I need to put these dishes away because these are clean and I totally forgot. So we're gonna put away all these dishes. Also, it's important to stay hydrated, so here I am trying to get hydrated, but I can't. <laughs> Okay, so this is mostly all trash. Um, I was gonna throw everything away, but I do have this jar. I might wash it out and use it for something else, you know, repurpose it. So I think I'm gonna keep that. But the rest of this has to go out to the trash. So as I was cleaning the kitchen, I realized that it was getting darker out and I use natural light for my videos, so I kind of just pause working in the kitchen and then I move over to the bedroom. Okay, so now that the dishes are done, I have to come and fix the bedroom. This is what it looks like right now. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna tidy up and put things back to where they all belong. My closet is a mess right now. Um, stuff piled up everywhere as I was putting my shoes away I realized that this shoe rack is pretty dusty you can see how dusty it is in the video so I decided to wipe it down and clean it up This mirror has never been cleaned. <laughs> now we are making the bed. So to be honest, I do not make my bed every single day. I actually rarely ever do, maybe like once or twice a week. Usually after I make the bed, I kind of just want to lay in it, but I don't want to ruin it, so I don't. <laughs> and now we are back in the kitchen to finish wiping off the counter and the stove and everything. So I'm back to using the Method All-Purpose Cleaner and I am using another cloth, a microfiber cloth, to wipe everything down. Ah uh, yes, so much better than before. Everything is clean now, my entire house is done, and I just feel so much better. You know what they say, a clear space is a clear mind, and I 100% fully believe that. I of course have to end it with cleaning up the floors, and of course I'm using my handy dandy Dyson vacuum to clean up the floors. I'm finally all done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.